everybody welcome back to another week well would you like to find out our story of the week this week well last week we were thinking all about the arctic weren't we and the north and the south pole and somewhere very 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 cold but it's actually quite cold here at the moment isn't it because it's winter time so we're going to be thinking about winter time this week but winter time in our country winter time in wales and we're going to be reading a story about some creatures that live near us. You might not see them, but they are there. And our story is called Foxes in the Snow. So this week we're going to be finding out about creatures that live all around us and about what happens to them in the winter time. So Foxes in the Snow. And it's written by someone called Jonathan Emmett and Rebecca Harry. And there, look, you can see two little fox cubs. And there's a little robin too. Foxes in the snow. Now, I love this picture. Because even before we start reading our story, we've got this lovely picture showing us where foxes live. And there they are, look, in a den under the ground. Nice and safe. We could walk past them. We wouldn't even know they were there, would we? foxes in the snow. In the middle of a forest, beneath the roots of an old oak tree, lived a family of foxes. It was a cold winter's day, but Mother Fox was going out to look for food. Stay here in the den where it's safe and snug, she told the two cubs, and with a flick of her tail, she was off into the forest. So there's Mummy. And there's her two babies waiting behind for her, nice and safe in their den. Alfie and Bonnie snuggled down at the back of the den. But Bonnie soon got bored. I'm going to look outside, she said. Oh, remember what Mother told us, called Alfie. You mustn't leave the den. I'm just looking, said Bonnie. Bonnie poked her nose outside and gasped as something white and fluffy landed on it. She tried to pick the fluffy thing up, but it disappeared as soon as she touched it. Alfie, Alfie, come and look, she called. What do you think's falling on her nose? Do you think it's snow? The forest was filled with strange, fluffy things. They were falling through the air and all around them. Now, these two little fox cubs have never seen snow before, so they don't know what it is. What are they? asked Alfie. Whatever they are, I want one, said Bonnie. And they scrambled up and out of the den. They forgot about staying safe and snug. They forgot what Mother Fox had told them. Oh dear. So she had told them to stay in the den where they were safe. But they'd forgotten about that and they've gone out into the woods. <gasps> the two cubs jumped into the air, trying to snap up the falling snowflakes. <gasps> they melt in your mouth, said Alfie. <laughs> they tickle your tongue, giggled Bonnie. Through the trees they ran, laughing and leaping through the whirling whiteness. There they are. Oh dear. Looks to me like they're going away from their den. The snow was falling thick and fast now, smothering the ground and covering the branches until the whole forest lay hidden beneath a thick white blanket. Suddenly Alfie stopped and looked around him. <gasps> Where are we? He said. They'd been having so much fun that they hadn't noticed where they were going. Now everywhere looked strange and unfamiliar. <gasps> I think we're lost, whimpered Bonnie. Then Alfie had a brilliant idea. Look at our paw prints, he said. We can follow them all the way home. So back they went, noses to the ground, 
tracing their tracks through the snow. But it was getting late and the forest was getting darker. <gasps> and the paw prints grew fainter and fainter until <gasps> they disappeared completely. Well, what's happened there is where it snowed more and more, it's covered up their footprints they made earlier. And now they don't know where they are. Oh no, <gasps> the snow must have filled them in, sniffed Bonnie. Alfie and Bonnie huddled together. The forest, which had felt so friendly, now felt cold and dangerous. And the two cubs wished that they had stayed safe and snug in their den, as Mother Fox had told them. Oh dear, must be feeling very scared. <gasps> Crack! Suddenly, a twig snapped. And the cubs caught a glimpse of something large running silently through the forest. <gasps> it's a monster, said Alfie. Quick, hide, said Bonnie, pulling Alfie behind a tree. But whatever it was, it was heading straight towards them. The two frightened cubs backed around the tree until... <gasps> Whoosh! The snow gave way beneath them and they tumbled down into a hole. Help! cried our Alfie. What are we going to do? I don't know, whimpered Bonnie. Just then, a large shape appeared above them. Do you know who it was? It was Mother Fox. Why do you look so scared? She said. <gasps> we didn't know it was you, gasped Alfie. How did you find us? Flirted Bonnie. Find you, said Mother Fox. But where else would you be? So they've actually fallen back into their very own den. Now everyone was puzzled until Alfie realised where they were. <gasps> we're in the den, he said. Of course, said Mother Fox just as I left you. It was a cold winter's evening and Alfie and Bonnie were back in their den beneath the roots of the old oak tree. As the cubs finished their supper, Mother Fox told them that they would have a big surprise in the morning. What sort of surprise? asked Alfie. Well, if I told you, it wouldn't be a surprise, said Mother Fox. Alfie and Bonnie curled up sleepily together, safe and snug in the corner of the den. I think I know what the surprise is, whispered Alfie. It's the sort that melts in your mouth and tickles your tongue, said Bonnie. But I'm glad Mother Fox is coming too. Oh, and that's the end. And there they are, look, safe in their den under the ground. And there's all the new fallen snow. Oh, so what a lovely story. So luckily our foxes ended up safe and sound. And they found out what snow is, didn't they? So we're going to be finding out about lots of our creatures this week and seeing how we can help them out in the winter time too. Okay, bye bye, see you soon.